Trinity, the star of the show. Okay, just doing a quick video to test out a camera that I've had for about a year that I have not liked and not enjoyed because I don't know how to use it. It's a Sony A6400. Trying to use this for vlogging from now on because my phone doesn't have enough storage and it's a pain in the butt. So just giving this a go to see how it looks and see how it does with video. And then the second part of this is to just explain an update to our plans overall and where we're at and the way ahead for traveling. So I'll start it off and just say we're in California. This is our fourth night. First night was not a fun boondocking night. It was just off of some road off the interstate. Not very good. And then we just spent two nights at Beale Air Force Base to do laundry, clean up, clean the van, do some maintenance on the Jeep. And we are now on BLM land, Sacramento River area right outside of Red Bluff, right? Yes. You want to talk about the way ahead? All right. Um, we've been kind of just winging it most of the time, but we do have a few uh, campgrounds reserved here in the next few weeks in California. Um, starting tomorrow, we're going to be up in the Redwoods. It's Humboldt uh, Redwood State Park. We're there for three days. And then we've got about a week to kill. Um, haven't quite ironed out all those plans, but then... The 14th through the 17th, we are actually staying in Yosemite National Park. Um, we had some friends recommend that we, if we could get in there, to, to it would be a worth our while to stay within the park. So we've got three days booked there. And then we just um, made our Christmas plans. We're going to be staying on the beach at uh, Navy Base. Um, great deal. I think it's 22 bucks a night. Um, we're staying four days at NAS. Point Mogu. Shout out to Joe Man for the suggestion. Yeah, I think it's just south of Ventura. Um, not really familiar with the area, but hopefully we'll have a good time. I mean, it's on the beach. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? And then... We have a lot to pack in in California because we're going to head south. Uh, the only reason why we're going north to the Redwoods is because the Redwoods is my favorite area so far. Uh, so we're doing a couple nights there and then heading south on the 101, do some, hopefully do some coastal camping before heading over to the park. But we have something like six more parks to see, national parks. And we're doing a big update to the van. We made the decision last night to bite the bullet and update our power system. We're working with a company called Rome Rig, and they are going to rip out our AGM batteries and put in lithium which means we have no worries about power moving forward and we'll be able to use our air conditioning system six hours a day on the system uh, without being plugged in, which is crazy power. Um, so that's supposedly gonna happen within a month or so, hopefully within the next month before the new year. But our plan after California is to head east via the southern route. Um, I'll see my sister in Sedona area but we got a lot of national parks in Arizona to see as well. That's kind of our focus still is to try to visit all the lower 48 and national parks. After we visit Greg's sister in Sedona, um, and we will continue heading east, we have to make it all the way to Key West, Florida by February 23rd because Greg got a wild hair and uh, booked us in at a Navy base there. Uh, 22 bucks a night. For Key West, pretty pretty good. So in February, the only other places I really want to see on the Southern Route is Big Bend in Texas, maybe Austin, and that's really it. So we're probably not going to spend a whole lot of time after Arizona. We'll just get we'll out see. that way, but we'll see. Play by ear. And then plan is to head up the Eastern Seaboard, maybe follow the Appalachian Trail, do some trail magic to give back. I got quite a bit on my hike. Probably going to be a pretty big reunion in North Carolina because there was quite a few hikers uh, that I hiked with that are in that area. And we need to meet some in Alabama and visit a few friends there yep. as well. 
but then kind of go up and then back and maybe hit the Pacific Northwest by late summer, early fall. And if we're really feeling ambitious, then head up to Alaska. But well, you, you cut out the whole Midwest. We have to stop and see my family. Yeah. Well, yeah, no, I mean. I Ohio, Missouri, not very exciting, but that's where all my family is. So mandatory stop, stop. Um, other than that. My mother watches your video, so. No, I'm happy <laughs> be, be to nice, see family. Jackass. Just the, the areas like Iowa and Kansas, they're just, to me, it's not very appealing. But we'll see. There's some pretty spots. Um, other than that, learned a lot over the past month. And what else? You said keep it short. Less is not short. So one thing that we have done that we've never done before really is actually use a or like form a budget. We use the numbers app in Apple products and we just finished our first month and surprisingly our gas was under budget for both the Jeep and the Revel. I However, thought we were going to be way over just with the amount of driving we've done and we haven't really homesteaded anywhere. Usually it's every night or every day we're, we're on the move with the exception of a few nights. Um, but we we're just under with gas. However, we eat a lot, um, whether it's grocery shopping or I don't even think we eat out. a lot. We just don't plan a lot of meals and it causes a lot of waste. Yes. So we're anybody, way over budget for food and groceries. Yes. For anybody watching who has tips on uh, how we can cut that down, because it's just the two of us. Like one one pot meal, stuff like that. Yep. Send us recipes. Sick of ramen and hot dogs though we shouldn't be eating that with the amount of money we spend <laughs> well that's just that's for those late nights when we pull in late and we don't have you know time to cook or yep. something like that um the other thing what else did we want to discuss just things we've learned we're still working out organization in the van there was one thing that you did which was pretty clever that's uh, why well, i follow many rving um and uh full-time uh, different forums on facebook and somebody suggested for your extra clothes and seasonal clothes, if you throw pillows, pull out the pillows, toss them out, you don't really need them, and then fill them with your clothes. So that's what Greg's been doing. He's got you know two throw pillows full of his socks and undies and, and I snuggle up with my socks and undies each night. <laughs> <laughs> but they, they get tossed up on the front seat when we go to sleep anyway, so that's fine. So that's a, that's a nice way that we uh, make a little extra room so we can have those little comforts. And I think the biggest thing is military bases are awesome. They're, they're not fun to stay at because you're right on top of people, and that's not our type of camping. But when we get there, like we did easily $20 worth of laundry uh, at Beal, and that's how much it cost to stay there. And we were plugged in. We, we got AC. We got good showers. Uh, top up our tanks, everything. Yep, exactly. Dump, all that stuff where ordinarily we would have to pay, spend money on that, and we didn't have to do that. So I think we're going to be using those quite a bit. Other than that, that's our plan. If you want to link up with us on our route, just send us a note. There's been a few uh, subscribers on this channel from back when I did my hike that have reached out. Chris was one of them in the Bay Area. If we go through there, it'd be cool to link up with him. Uh, but I don't have a lot of followers, but I have some good followers. So I'd like to put some names to faces if we're brave enough to do that. So. Faces and names? What did I say? Names to faces? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what you got over there in that cup? Coffee. <laughs> yeah. All right. And on that note. Happy trails. And more to come. See you in the next one. <laughs> I'll get this down one of these days. And maybe not. Probably not. Catch you in the next one.